Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Everybody. I'm fine. And you? Good. I'm pretty good. How was your day, Wendy? Mm -hmm. oh. My day? Mm -hmm. Like what? Um, no, sorry. <laughs> My day was a little busy. A little busy? Um, yes, a little busy. Um, I don't I don't sell travel tickets today. <laughs> oh, you didn't sell anything? Mm -hmm. Everything. Oh, okay, okay. Only a, only a form. A form okay. for... A form for... For American visa. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's yes. pretty good. And confirmation. Two, two confirmations. No, three. Three confirmations. Three confirmations. Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? Yeah. What do you mean confirmations? Me, for example, uh, the people travel uh, have have a travel ticket in uh, air, the airlines um change change the date or change the hour and because con uh, it's confirmation not, wow. not change. I see. for C the change the airline for what for change for a possible change mm -hmm. Uh, the people confirmation mm -hmm. oh. oh make make confirmation yeah okay okay i see okay good 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 okay um and um a, do you have to have like every day uh you have to you have to sell travel tickets every day no not every day no. oh, okay Okay, so it's not it's not bad no. then. It's it's normal. Uh, three, four, five, and or or, or more in the week. Oh, in the so week. in the week. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not too bad. So if you don't yeah. sell, if you don't sell one day. It's not the. It's not very very bad. No, one day, one day, for example, uh, nothing. No, uh, zero, zero <laughs> tickets. And other day, for example, five tickets or four tickets or hmm. well, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Okay. Um, hello, Jorge. Are you there? Hello, Jorge. Are you there? I guess he's not. Okay. Hello, Marielena. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, some better. Better? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. It it sucks to be, um, you know, all, all sick. So I'm glad you're doing better. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. How was How was your day today? Um, sleeping very much. It was, it was sleeping the day? Yes. Yeah. Really? Oh, you slept during the day. Yeah? Oh, why 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 did you sleep? Yeah. 
uh, because um, chlorophenina mina give me more what i don't know how do you say swing yeah it made you drowsy it made you drowsy le dio somnolencia drowsy yes drowsy can you repeat that drowsy Drow drowsy yeah. it made you drowsy drowsy mm -hmm. i see i see okay okay it, but you're not you're not working like you didn't work today yesterday and today no oh okay good good okay um do you work today off do you work on the weekends no no you don't work on the weekends no i don't oh okay i'm not good. working on weekends. oh okay so so you have, you have a, sorry What did you say, Maria Elena? Only with my children. With your children. Eh, Maria Elena, creo que. Are, are, are you having connection problems, Maria Elena? Yes, I think so. Mm, okay. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, I can hear you, and sometimes I can't. That's okay. Okay, well, no problem, no problem. The important thing is that um that you're connected, and maybe it will it will get better. Is it is it raining right now? No, not for the moment. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, um, hopefully. It um it, the the connection gets better. Let me just send a um my nephew. I'm going to send a a, a message um in the group because um we need everybody to connect. Okay. Okay, so I already sent the message. Hopefully, um, they receive it. Okay. Yeah, because we need everybody else to connect. Hey, Wendy, are you there? Wendy? Yeah. Okay, good. No se me pierda. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I asked where I um ask where uh a message. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, good, good. Jorge, are you there? 
Jorge, are you there? Jorge? No? Mm. Okay, well, we're gonna have to start with you two girls. So I'm gonna start taking attendance, which is not gonna be that difficult because I already know who's here. Okay, Cristia is not. Uh, Delbert, no. Diana, no. Jennifer, no. Uh, Jorge, Jorge, can you answer for the attendance? Jorge? Okay, Manuel said that he was not going to connect. Maria Elena? Present. All right, excellent. Uh, Mario Ernesto is not here. Mario Jose? No. Norma Carolina? Norma Carolina? No, right? No, Mario? No. Suleima? Silvia Suleima? No. Um, Susana Beatriz? No. And Wendy? Present. Ok. All right. No sé qué les ha pasado a los demás. Se ver, así que... Está como raro esto. ¿Está lloviendo? ¿Ahorita? ¿Está lloviendo? En Santa Ana, no. En San Salvador, no. Eh, Maria Elena, are you in San Salvador? Maybe electric storm. Don't are, are, worry, are, but are you right now in? Are you in 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 San Salvador right now? Um, in San Salvador, but, but in some place because. Can be a wife. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Oh, hello. Good evening, Jorge. Hi, I'm here right now. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, we're just commenting that we have no idea what's happening, that um, we're missing it's everybody. Raining. Oh, is it? Are you in San Salvador right now? Yes, I'm in San Salvador. Mm, it's about to rain? Yes, it's almost raining. And the connection has some kind of problem, maybe. Mm, maybe, I don't know, because it's strange. We, we've never had this situation where only three of you are connecting. Okay, we're going to do the best we can out of it. Um, how was your day today, Jorge? Um, kind of busy, but hopefully all way, all all the thing that all all what all the thing was was good. Okay. So was very productive. Productive. The productive the day mm -hmm. and and also was was with a lot of uh, uh, things that make and and was was very very good oh okay good good um remind me you normally work in samiel yes right okay from monday to friday Mm -hmm. I'm in in San Miguel, but Friday I come back or return to San Salvador. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. So right now you're back with your family. Yes, I, I'm in my house, but in San Salvador. Mm, okay, that's good. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad you are, you are back in, with your family. Yes, I had the opportunity to take a, a rest in the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good, good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you'll be able, you'll be able to, to be with them and rest. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, we have Christian. Yeah? Hello, Christian, are you there? <laughs> Can you hear me? Is it Christian, are you there? No. Is there, are you there? Hello? Hello, Miss. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, now I can hear you. Okay, okay. okay. You, in, a, you... in a few moments, I, I, I turn on my camera. Okay, Just are you driving? A... Excuse are, me? Are you driving? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Um, okay, great. So we're going to start um, our class, guys, because, um, yeah, we need to start already. <laughs> so, um, okay. So I'm going to be sharing the PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Um. So this is a course English for for program advanced module two. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, and the date is April twenty first, two thousand twenty three, and the date is the day is number twenty. Okay. So uh, we're gonna start. So the first thing we're going to do right now, we're going to be looking at this vocabulary, which is sustainable development, sustainable, sustainable development, stakeholders, good, uh, good practices, environmental sustainability. So um, normally I would um, divide you guys into groups, but because we already have a small group, um, we're gonna. I'm gonna put you guys into um, into a breakout room uh, to discuss and everything. Um, eh, hold on. Uh, um, let me just make sure about something. Um, Cristia, will you be able to con um can I put you in a separate like will you be able to if I put you in a group with somebody right now, could you participate or not yet? Uh I think yes, maybe if I can, I I I will participate. Okay. All right. So um okay, so in that case. What I'll do is I'm going to um, okay, just a second, guys. Okay, so what I'll do right now is um, I'll share with you in the group um, the sorry in the WhatsApp in the WhatsApp group. We'll share um, the the vocabulary okay and then you can um you can work in 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 pairs 
and try and find out the meaning of the vocabulary. But of course, as always, I'm going to ask you to do it with your own words, not with um, the words that you find from the I, I, I don't want you to do it from the words um, directly from the, the internet. Try to tr explain your words and also come up with um, your own ideas. Okay? So because we're a small group right now, I'm going to divide them, you guys, into two groups. Okay? Um, we'll have... Okay, so I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna divide you guys into two groups. Um, oh, wonderful, we have one more per, oh no. Okay, um, let's see. Okay. Um, we're gonna open the groups right. Uh, oh, I'm gonna give you uh, fifteen minutes to, to investigate. Actually, I think that may be too much. I'll give you about ten. Okay, I'm gonna give you ten minutes to investigate. Okay, here we go. Uh, here, here. In the WhatsApp? In the WhatsApp, I don't receive. In the WhatsApp group. Me neither. I, I, I can see the uh, imagine. Could you please, teacher, send to us the, the image? Um, image? Yes, about the, the vocabulary. Yeah, I already send it right now. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sustainable development. Okay, the first is sustainable uh, development. Sustainable development. This is an organ, organ 
Nice and principal. That times in a human development. False. My phones are made. My education system to provide. Also, some natural resources and ecosystem service. The human, the desire, the soul is a society where we have conditional resources that human needs without, without underterminating. I, th I think she she had connection problems. Uh, yes. Yeah, she, oh, yeah, she's, yeah. She's back. Okay, Maria Elena. Hello, Maria Elena. is an organizing principle that aims Hello group is Suleyma Hello teacher Hello Hello Sunia Suleyma Hello teacher Hi, are you working together with Wendy? Uh, um, I I connect in this moment. I don't uh I don't know what is the work. Okay. Um, is can you uh, turn on your camera? Yes. Yes. Okay, there you are. Okay, excellent. Okay, so I need you to work with Wendy. I sent in the group, in the WhatsApp group, I sent the vocabulary that you have to find out what the meaning of the vocabulary is. Okay? Can you do that? Okay. Okay, okay excellent. All right. Go for it. Uh, one moment. Uh, what is the information? Uh, uh, it's it's in the WhatsApp group. Oh, pardon. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Can you find it? Um, the fourth uh, topic. Um, no, I, I, I sent a, a, an image of the vocabulary. Do you see it? No, teacher, I don't understand. In the group of WhatsApp, you mande una imagen. Yes, I see. Okay. Because I don't know what topic is for work with Wendy. Like what, uh, or, or for. Uh, All the four all... words, the whole four words you have to investigate. Ah, okay. Okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Wendy, do you investigate uh, 
about this. Uh, do you investigate about this topic in the internet? In el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sharing WhatsApp. In WhatsApp. Yes, Wendy. It what happened? Chicas, Wendy, oh, Wendy don't have the image. Wendy, Wendy, hola. Sorry, hola. I speak, 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 in... <laughs> close my. Yeah, uh, we can Michael. Yeah, we can see you or hear you. What? We can't see you or hear you before. Are you are you with us? Are you working? Um, sorry. Um, Hola, está trabajando? Ese que estaba preguntándole a ella que si es que si eso es lo que vamos a ver es sustainable development sí ya, de, o sea la idea es de que ya tenían que haber eh, visto la información entonces necesito que se pongan un poquito en las pelas chicas porque eh, si no no vamos a poder terminar entonces empiecen a investigar ok ok te he okay. 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 que no habíamos investigado de eso. Hola. Hola. Cintia. Estoy buscando en el internet, Wendy, porque yo, yo no lo había que... investigado. Ah, ah ok. Sí. Sí, ¿Usted ya tiene la información? Visto, Pero ya tiene la no, información. Yo me... No, yo solo me acuerdo que había visto eso. Bueno, hay que trabajar en esto, dijo ella. Hay que investigar entonces. Okay. Ah, very... okay. 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 Hello, Jorge. Hello, teacher. You're, I think your partner is having problems with the connection. 
Yes, because she tried, but other time was disconnected. Mm -hmm. She said the internet is is a bad connection. Yeah. I don't know what's going on today. Like, <laughs> todos los planetas se han alineado para, para hacer la guerra. <laughs> Yes, because almost raining and that can be the the problem with the connection. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here today, but everything seems to be like off. Okay, well, um, are you finished with the vocabulary? Um, let me check the the last one. Environmental sustainability. Sustainable. Sustainability. Sustainability. Yeah. That is the last one. Mm -hmm. So, so are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Um. Me me da ganas. Creo que la voy a tener que mover a, al otro grupo porque eh, creo que eso sería lo más, lo más apropiado porque. Ok, so I'm going to move you right now. Ok, and okay. so you, you can help the other girls because I think the other girls don't understand what's going on. Ok, so I'm going to move you to the other group. Ok. Ok, ok, no No. They imagine they imagine in WhatsApp sustainable development stakeholder stakeholder good practice in environmental sustainability. So, but what 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 we need to do? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Investi investigate and. Oh, the meaning or Dis discuss yeah. about the, the, the meaning, meaning of that vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Investigate the meaning. Do you investigate sustainable development? Yes, uh, in the chat, I heard. But what do you, what is the main um, idea? Um, Ok, chicos, necesito que estén ahí un poquito más activos. No sé qué está pasando hoy en la clase, pero como que se me pierden. Eh, no estoy hablando de, de conexión, sino que eh, necesito que, que estemos ahí hablando, discutiendo, preguntando. Ok, sé que es viernes y que el cuerpo lo sabe. Pero necesitamos uh, poner un poquito más de chispa ahí, ¿verdad? Para poder avanzar con, con lo que tenemos para el día de hoy. ¿Ok? 
Okay. Any questions? Okay, teacher. Uh, I understand, teacher, in sustainable development that is uh, like an organization that that create or put the goals to develop some some requirement. I'm not sure if if that is that definition is correct or not. Wendy, Suleyma, Jennifer. Hello. You can, you can answer for her because first I'm reading. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Fine. <clears throat> um. So Wendy, Suleyma. You had a chance to 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 investigate, so you can you can talk to Jorge and, and answer. Okay. All your words investigate. Sustainable development. What do you think means that, or which is the definition of sustainable development in your words? Your microphone is turned off. Hey, good evening. I don't know if I can input on this. Yes, yes, please. Okay. Um, I'm I'm not sure, but um, I just want to say that uh, I understand that, for example, in my work, we work with a solar panel. I was talking with my with my group before, and I think uh, the sustainable development is when we use some resource that improve or make um, a good environment and we are uh, we we try to find the wellness uh, between us and earth or 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 weather i don't know <laughs> i think uh, so so that is my example in my company, we use uh, solar panels for use some sun energy. Okay. Yeah, that is a part of the sus sustainable development because, oh. yeah, the company, yeah, well, that's what I think, right? The company uh, invests in technology that at the first sight is, uh, I, uh, we can we can think that it, that companies are spending money, but uh, using solar panels at the end, they uh, they are, are going to to retrieve that cost, and then uh, they're using uh, solar energy. And first, they don't use natural resources as as as. Well, as, as water that that, that the, the the electricity is is, is. and um, that don't that uh, solar panels doesn't affect the environment and doesn't affect any other areas in the future i think yeah. that, that is that even is... sorry <laughs> no 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 it's okay okay uh, even when the companies use um the molinos Molinos, I don't know <laughs> for the energy. I don't know. I don't know how can I say Molino in English. 
I, I agree with, with that. With that uh, windmills. Oh, okay, windmill. Mm -hmm. I agree with that definition, but I had the do if sustainable and sustainability sustainability is that you are talking uh -huh. the, uh, according to the definition that uh, I was reading in the article uh, in that article said the sustainable development is like an organization uh, that direct the, the main ideas about the earth, about the environment uh, even they 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 write about the UNESCO and organization like that, but this is my doubt about the the difference between that word. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't know, but if we talk about sustainable development, it's not a, a company, it's the development of a project, not necessarily a, 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 a big company, I think. Okay. Is the uh, sustainability is like the action to development something that that help in some areas that doesn't affect any others in the future? Well. Okay, that has sense. Because yeah, because the the, the 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 hard definition sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. That means that that for example, um, if we develop something that does not affect, for example, uh. uh not that the future resources. that the future generation does not have water, for example. Mm -hmm. and that's what I think. But... Okay. Because th that is the, the that is the definition, and there is an example say, um, using recycled materials or renewable resources when building. That is a sustainable development. This is an example that, that, that sustainable development is defined as an approach to developing or growing by using resources in a way that allows for them to renew or continue to exist for others. And the, and the, the, the example using recycled materials or renewable resources when building. Okay. In other words, you say it's about Fighting ways to use resource wisely uh, so that they can last a long time. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, the next one is the stakeholders. Is the people help for for the company? Um, for example, help. Um, uh, they they sell actions in the company. Is a people or groups? But these okay. people or groups uh, need have an interest or concern in a particular issues or project or some in common.
do you do you think they they are the investors? That could be person, organization, or or groups that want to put their money in to invest in one project. Yeah, I think that we we gave that definition in a previous classes that the stakeholders are a, a person with an interest in business. And they are, and, and he, she, or they uh, are, yes, the investors. And they can uh, uh, provide economic, uh, yeah, help, help or invest, uh, well, provide the money for the project or the or the thing that they are interested to develop. Okay. I agree with that. And the next one is good practices. I consider that that definition is is easier. Yes, it is different bad practice. <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> that is the definition. Opposite, the opposite. Oh, opposite bad practice. <laughs> but that is correct. Yes. It's yes. correct. But what is a good practice? If all they... practices benefit benefit uh, the people of the company. For example. Mm, for example, uh, responsibly responsibility. Puntual, eh, respect, eh, is take care of the environment. Is Erica, is, is the same Erica or oh, how do you say parecido? Similar. What? Similar. Similar or same? Is the same or it is similar? It's the same. But okay, is the same? You was or talking similar about the values. Areas. Yes, values. But good practices, I imagine something like take care of the environment, for example. Maybe in your company could be. But we need to know. Keep so cleaning to... your office or something like that. But good practices in what? Because yes, we can. Depends yeah, on the... uh, yeah, it depends on the area. Because... Can be a recycling, no. Yeah. It depends if you are in your house or you are in the office or, or in mm -hmm. general. Could be a lot of definition. Oh, oh, if, um, I remember uh, eco friendly. Many companies are, it is, it is the new slogan that using eco friendly. Mm -hmm. Yes, that could be a, a good practice like recycling. Recycling could be a good practice in in your house, in the office, in, in the company in general. And the last one is environmental sustainability. Mm -hmm. 
what do you think about the, that uh, vocabulary? Well, the hard definition is the responsibility to conserve natural resources and protect global ecosystem, eco, ecosystem no sé, to support health and well-being. The ability to maintain an ecological balance in our planet's natural environment and conserve natural resources to support the well-being of current and future generations. Who is in charge of the environment sustainability? I think that there are organizations, but uh, that is, uh, that would be the responsibility of everyone. De depends of the company they can has, they can have or not uh, environment sustainability. Mm -hmm. I imagine if there are there is a small company, they don't have a. They can to be. No, for example, something so that is sustain sustainable or help the the, the environmental sustainability is the disposable that the are made recycle. from. Yes, yes, that are the disposable that I that are made uh, with uh, recycle, recycling products. Yes. And also the paper that is used from recycled one. And um, you can reduce the, the use of paper too. And you can reduce the paper too. Yeah. Sustainable agriculture can be. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, is a is a good practice, maybe. Okay, so are you guys ready, or do you need more time? Do we need to present? Um, no, just discuss. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Right. We're gonna we're gonna return to the main room then. Hello, Sulima. I'm going to Hello, bring it, everybody back. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Everybody's gonna come in back in a moment. Okay, there they are. Okay, guys. All right, so let's um, discuss the vocabulary. So, sustainable development. What do you understand by sustainable development? Um, in, in that case, teacher, I consider is um, uh, talking about the, the company mm -hmm. is the responsibility that the that the some part of the company has to keep or maintain uh, uh, 
I don't know, something like good practices and 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 make or develop one project that would be keeping in time, keeping in the time. Mm -hmm. For example, the company uh, can uh, explain to the agricultors how to to plant their own vegetable, and then they can uh, keep that practice in the time. Okay, okay, very good. Anything else? Any other ideas? No? No other ideas? Is that it? Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Yes. I remember uh, they speak about renewable energy, like a panel, mm -hmm. like a panel for, I don't remember, the word for remoli, for Molino. Windmill. Windmill. Mm -hmm. mm, new forms to use in nature, but don't give a damage. Okay. Um, okay, good, good, sure. Uh huh, yeah, okay. Very good to not damage the environment. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, although that has to do a little bit more with the last one. Right. Um, so sustainable development. Um, yeah, but of course, yes. Um, it's the process of getting there. Yeah, it's definitely the process. Okay, what about the next one, stakeholders? What do you understand by stakeholders? Uh, the people or group, group people enters, enters in, in the company. Uh, uh, sell, sell actions or uh, say, um, how do you say invierte? Invest? Invest in the company or, for example, customers or um, prove how do you say proveedores? Providers? Providers? Providers, customers in in all people or group specific uh, important for the company. Okay. Okay, thank you. What do you, anybody want to add to that? Mm, I can add that this group or people uh, needn't have an interest. Um, in a particular issues of project, for example, for example, for example, for example, if uh, a company is a build, building um, a factory, a new factory, the stakeholder maybe can include um, local community, employees, um, government. Uh, Official, official government. Okay, okay, sure, very good. Okay, um, okay, good. Any other um, definitions or examples that you can give?
So basically, stakeholder. Um, a stakeholder is uh, would be somebody um, that a um, that has um, invested, right? Some sort of um, financial aid the um, to to the company, right? Okay, good. Let's go to good practices. What do you understand by good practices? Mm -hmm. We we discuss about the the good practices, and and we consider there are many definitions or depends of the area in that you are talking about. For example, if you are talking in, in general, a good practice could be recycling. Other good practice could be uh, take care of the environment. Mm -hmm. And also if you are in your house, you have to to have uh, good practices like responsibility uh, and other ones that is necessary to keep the, the relationship be between all the people that are in, in their house. Okay, all right, so you're, you're giving me example, which is good, but what can we give a definition of what is a good practice? How would you uh, define good practice? The the easier definition that I can say is the opposite of the bad practices. And what are bad practices? <laughs> bad practices is is something that uh, that goes in the wrong directions. Why would it be wrong direction? What's the direction? Um, it's something that don't follow the rules that are the not just the, the common sense, also with using the law. Okay. Um, mm hmm. I remember um, yes, three or four, four words strong, um, effective, efficient, ethical, um, mm -hmm. and methods. Um, maybe uh, the good practice are methods yeah. that approach that are considered effective, efficient, and ethical. Yes, very good, exactly. So we are talking about those practices that are going to take us to where we want to go. So we 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 have a um we have a goal in mind. We have, we want a, a specific result and the practices that are going to lead us towards that goal that are going to be effective, um, efficient towards that goal, those are good practices. Yeah, in that case, you can use, for example, in, in, in development or project, there are guides. Mm -hmm. that that are already approved mm -hmm. or tested mm -hmm. that give you a better results and then you can implement that method methodologies to success in your mm -hmm. project very good very good exactly so if you want to have a specific result you have to find out what's going to take you there so how are you going to find out well, um, 
you have to do research. You know, what are those strategies? What are those um, uh, techniques or whatever it is that you need to be able to get that, that have already shown to be productive, effective, to get to where you want to be? Okay. And yes, um, you you mentioned a few examples, and yeah, so those would be, but um, we need to understand what exactly is a good practice. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Okay, all right. Let's go to environmental su sustainability. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. What do you understand by that? Environmental sustainability. The last one is the refers to practice and a strategy that promote for a long term uh, health. Uh, can, can you repeat that again? Refers uh, practice and strategies that the people promote for a long-term health. For long-term health of what? I don't remember. <laughs> So long-term health of, of what? Um, I don't know who is the word for bienestar. Well-being? Well-being. Yeah, for the well-being of what? For the human. For the human. For the well-being. For human beings, okay. Um, okay. I, I um, imagine teachers something like an an organization who is concerned about the the environment, for example, or take care of the environment. Yes, exactly. So, is it for human beings or is it for the environment? Environment. For the environment. Right. Okay. So it's going to be something good for the well-being of not the human, not about human beings themselves, but about the environment around the national the, environment. Yeah. Right. A, a, around the human being. Yeah. It's the it's take care of the environment. Exactly. Taking care of the environment. So how can we take care of the environment? Can you give me examples? Recycling could be a, a good practice. Yes. Okay. Very good. Environmental sustainability. Forest. What about the forest? Reforest. Um, oh, re reforest. Oh, reforestation. Okay. Reforestation. reforestation. Okay. Reforestation. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, Conserve biodiversity in some countries, but in in our country, uh, remember areas protecting. Do you don't have a, no puede casar, no puede hacer cosas, son áreas protegidas. Okay, so respect. Protected areas? Protected areas. Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Do you have any any questions, anything else that you're not sure about? No, teacher. 
No? No. Okay. All right. Perfect. Let's move on then to the next part. Okay. So now that we understand that, let's uh, move on. I need you guys to tell me, can you see? Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, we can see that. Perfect. Screen. Okay. Great. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to organize a paragraph. Okay. Um, it's very important that we know how to organize a paragraph because if a paragraph doesn't make sense, for example, if you are, especially if you are, if the paragraph is part of a bigger thing like an article or or an, an essay and the paragraph doesn't make sense, the whole essay, the whole article will not make sense. So we need to be able to be um, to know how to structure a paragraph. So let's uh, the, read the first part. It says, a paragraph is a group of sentences that develop a main idea. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there for a moment and I'm gonna um, highlight that or underline that part. So um, actually, let me highlight it. I think it would be better if I highlight it. Okay. It's a group of sentences that develop a main idea. Okay, that's what a paragraph is. Now, as it says here, it's possible that a paragraph can stand by itself or it can be a, uh, by itself as a complete piece of writing or it can be a, se a section of a longer piece of writing like an essay. So it, it's going to depend. You, you're, you can find paragraphs on their own, just, just the pure paragraph. Or you can find paragraphs uh, within an essay or an article, for example. Okay. A well-developed parag uh, paragraph has a topic sentence. Okay, so this is this is where we start to to um, get into more details. Okay, so it has a topic sentence. That's the first thing we need to understand. Okay. What is a topic sentence? A topic sentence is, expresses the main idea of the paragraph. Okay, so that's a, our topic sentence. It's a, a sentence that expresses the main idea of the paragraph. What are you trying to, what what's what are you trying to explain in that paragraph? Does that make sense? Yeah? So that's the topic sentence. Yes. That's the first thing. Most of the time, the topic sentence is going to be the first sentence in the paragraph. Most of the time. Although sometimes we will find it maybe in the second or third sentence of the, of the paragraph. But like, let's say, I don't know, 70% of the time, it will be the first sentence of the paragraph. Now, keep in mind the titles are usually single words or short, um, or, or short phrases, but the topic sentence of a paragraph must always be a complete sentence. Okay, so topic sentences are not phrases, are not, um, you know, flashy um, ideas. No, they are complete sentences. The sentence stands on its own. The sentence by itself is already complete. And an example of this, can someone read me the example? I need a volunteer to help me read the example. Okay, Jennifer, please. The first one. Yeah. 
Lego is at the top corporate social responsible companies of this year with 74.4 points having jumped from its fifth place last year. Thank you. 74.4. 74.4, yeah. Very good, thank you very much, Jennifer. Exactly, so this sentence by itself can stand, like on its own. I don't need more information to complete the sentence or the idea. I don't need, it. it's clear. So that means that, that if this is my topic sentence, I know exactly what I'm gonna talk about in that paragraph. Um, so I'm going to be talking about the the the, the Lego company um, as the top corporate social res uh, responsible company. Right? That's what I'm going to be talking about. And the fact that it that last year. Um, it was in um, in fifth place, and now it's at the top. So we know exactly. I don't. I don't. I don't need to be thinking. Hmm. Um. You know. What, what about? What exactly are you going to talk about? Lego. I don't know. You are. You understand very clearly from the sentence what the paragraph is going to be about. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. All right. I need a volunteer to help me read now this part. Which part, teacher? This part right yeah. here. The second, the, 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 the next paragraph. Okay. While a topic sentence presents the main idea of a paragraph, all the other sentences serve the serve the purpose to explain purpose, ex, purpose to extend, explain, extend, or support this general sentence. These other sentences are supporting details. They are used as pieces of evidence by writers to make the main idea of the paragraph convincing and interesting to the readers. Thank you very much, Jorge. Okay, so after the topic sentence, you will, for, you will find the supporting details. And the supporting details, the idea, what they, um, what the, um, yeah, what the purpose is, is to explain, extend, or support the general sentence. So basically, we can we can say that it looks like this. We have the topic sentence, and these supporting sent details are always gonna go back to this. So they cannot stand on its own. Okay, the supporting details are not just simple, simply um, ideas, random ideas, no. They always have to go back to the topic sentence. If they don't go back to the topic sentence, they're not supporting details and you have to eliminate that sentence because it's not gonna help us in anything. It always has to go back to this. This is the, let's say that this is the general and most important idea. Okay, we have, this is all, uh, we, can, we can basically compare the topic sentence to like what the sun, like to the sun. So you know how all of the, the, um, the planets in the solar system revolve around the sun well all the other sentences in the paragraph are going to revolve around the topic sentence okay and what they are doing is they're helping me to develop the topic sentence by explaining extending and supporting it 
Why? Because we need to have evidence, evidence that is going to help me convince and interest my reader. Okay. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. I need a volunteer now to help me read the examples of supporting details. Okay. I I I want to read. All right. Thank you, Christian. Uh, the examples, right? Yeah. The examples. Okay. Um. In uh, in an analysis done by financial expert. Lego beat all, all other companies in the perception that it behaves ethically, conducts business fairly, operates transparently, transparently, protects the environment, and supports worthy causes. Uh, two, Lego uh, has embraced corporate social responsibility from top to bottom, says Chief Research Officer. Stephen Han Griffith. Griffith. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Christia. Okay, so notice that this, remember what our topics are topic sentences. The topic sentence is Lego is at the top of the corporate social responsible companies of this year with 74.4 points, having jumped from its fifth place last year. Okay, so this is my topic sentence. Now, how am I going to um, show you that this is true? Well, the way I'm going to do it is by telling you um, about the perception um, that people have about it, that it behaves ethically. conducts business fairly, operates transparently, and protects the, the environment and supports worthy causes. So this is giving me, um, it, this is giving me evidence, okay? Or so, sorry, not giving me, this is like, um, yeah, 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 that's it. It's giving me evidence. And how I am convinced of this of this evidence is by giving me information or quotes from the chief research officer that is Stephen Han Griffiths. Yeah, that's convincing me that what I said before is true. Does that make sense? Yeah, no? Guys and girls, do we understand this? It's clear or? Just to check. Yeah. Okay, all right, good. All right, in that case, um, let's read the last part. A paragraph also needs to have a concluding paragraph. Sorry, sorry, a concluding yeah. sentence, sorry. A concluding sentence, which has one main purpose, and it's to give the reader a sense of having arrived to a satisfactory ending of the topic discussed. Okay. Um, so the, the reason why I'm giving you a concluding sentence is, um, is to give a sense of having arrived to a satisfying ending of the topic discussed. So to be able to feel that I have arrived to a satisfying ending, I need to always go back to this. 
because if I don't go back to this, then I will feel that what I that what I I read before is not true. I I don't I don't, I haven't been able to be convinced that this is true. So I always have to go back to this. So I guess I'm trying to make it connect, but my my drawing is not so good. So I'm going to do it this way. There we go. Okay. So we always have to go back to the topic sentence. Okay. So the concluding sentence is, is very, basically the concluding sentence, we can say that is restating the topic sentence. So it's saying the same thing as a topic sentence. You are just saying, okay, so after giving all of this evidence, you can see that my topic sentence is true. Okay, so I need a volunteer to help me read the last of the ex of the example. Who can read the last example? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Marilena. Legos building the change and sustain sustainable material centers, initiatives and its pater partnerships with the World well, Wildlife Fund are part of Danish companies push to sustainability and corporate social responsibility. Very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, so um, um, so basically here, I am able to conclude that my topic sentence is true. Why? The reason is because um, I have uh, talked about um, that that these these examples are part of the uh, of the plan of this company for sustainability and corporate social responsibility. Okay, so there you go. So any questions about this, about the, the structure of the paragraph? Not. No, it's pretty clear. Yeah, okay. All right, to make it even clearer, I want to present something to you. The Hamburg paragraph, okay? So this is how we're gonna be organizing a paragraph. Think of it like a hamburger, okay? Think of it as a hamburger. Um, in a hamburger, you have bread, right? And what the bread does is it holds the hamburger together, right? If you don't have bread on the top and bread at the bottom, what's inside of the hamburger falls apart, right? So if you have like, um, let's say you have meat and cheese and and tomatoes and, and, and lettuce, if you don't put that inside, of the bread, it's gonna fall apart. The hamburger is gonna fall apart. It doesn't make sense. I can't just have bread with um at and at the bottom, a uh, you know meat and lettuce. That doesn't make sense. That's on a then it's on a hamburger. So we can say then that for a hamburger paragraph, um. We there are top bread is the topic sentence. 
Okay, so I present it, it's at the top, and this is like the beginning. I can't, so the, I, I have a beginning of my hamburger. And to be able to hold the other part together, I need to also have a closing sentence or the closing, yeah, the closing sentence that is going to support my topic sentence. Okay, so remember, remember that this always goes back, right? So this, oh, sorry. Probably was better that way. <laughs> So this, remember, this is always going to go back to the topic sentence. Okay, now the topic sentence and the closing sentence hold everything together, everything inside of the paragraph. And what's inside of the paragraph? What's inside is my my um, my supporting details. My supporting details are not going to be just one idea. Most, most paragraphs have between two to five um, supporting sent, uh, details, between two to five. But I honestly would go for three minimum. Oh, sorry, um, uh, sorry. It would be the perfect number would be around three, so three, two to three, okay. If five is a little ambitious, honestly, so between two to five supporting ideas, that's going to be inside of our hamburger. Just like for example, think about a a hamburger. If you if you have a hamburger with only meat or only cheese. That's not really a hamburger, right? You need to have more things in there. You need to have a, like meat and lettuce and tomato and um, I don't know, uh, onions, cheese, okay? So all of those things make the hamburger delicious, right? But if you just have, you know, cheese in the middle or onions in the middle, it doesn't really make sense. So we need to, this is a, this is a, we're going to say is going to be the part of the, of the hamburger that is going to make everything worthwhile. So why am I reading this paragraph? Because this part is interesting. This part is what is going to engage me. This part is going to convince me. And this part actually is going to always go back to the topic sentence. So always go back to the topic sentence. Sounds good, everybody? Yes. yes and um, please take into account this part right here. The topic sentence introduces the main idea and the closing sentence restates the main idea. So here I open the idea, the, the topic I'm going to talk about here. I'm just, re I'm, I'm refreshing your memory and saying, yes, I wanted to talk about this. And look, voila. I explained it and I convinced you that this is true. Okay. Okay. So having said that, let's do some exercises. So read and organize the paragraph below using the model above. Topic sentence, supporting details, and concluding sentence. It's not very that it's not very difficult. All you have to do is identify what what is it going to be? What is, is it, what's the topic sentence? What's the supporting details? What is the concluding sentence? Sounds good? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um Okay, so what we're going to do right now, 
um, I'm going to, um, well, I'm going to divide the class into two groups. Okay. Um, I guess I think we have enough for two people, for two groups now. Okay, so. Okay, let me just make sure that that I've organized as well. Um, okay, all right. So I'm gonna give you about, um, I'd say seven minutes. Okay, let's open the rooms. Yes, that that is. Uh, In this case, the we have to organize in the right place the the paragraph. I consider the main idea is the 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 yeah, sentence. No, the the sentence. When they say the, the part number three, the Walt Disney Company is one of the largest and most well known corporation practicing corporate social responsibility. Yes, I agree. The second one. The next one is as the largest media and entertainment conglomerate in the world. And aside from it, I think opinion, my opinion is the first their goal is to benefit their guests. After the Walt Disney, is is the support sentence? Uh -huh. Supporting uh -huh. sentence, the number two, the first paragraph, and the number three. Number three. Uh, voluntarism is a major focus for Disney. Uh -huh. Yes. And, and the concluding sentence is as the largest media in an inter entertainment conglomerate in the world, and aside from it, constant imagining, Disney has a tremendous responsibility to give back to those who have helped it become the powerhouse. powerhouse that is today. Yes. That has sense the, the, that uh, order in the paragraph. The number three is the number one. The number one is the second. The number four is is the third part of the paragraph, and the last one is uh, the number two. I think a little Three is the first. The second. Hello. Are we finished?
finished or no? No, almost. Almost? No, miss. Okay. All right. Um, you want to discuss? You want to talk about it? I don't know. Um, can I help you with something? I have dealt with the first and the last paragraph. Okay. What's your doubt? Um, which one will be the concluding sentence? <laughs> um okay well discuss it discuss it with your with your your classmates ask them what do they think okay How you finish, Wendy? No, no, really. I don't know. I don't know. Do you? Do we do? Do you know? No, you don't know what do? What do we have to do? We know. We need to order the paragraph. The paragraph to change. Sharing WhatsApp. Yes. Ah, Okay, guys, I need you talking, discussing. Wendy, are you there? Wendy, are you there? Yes, teacher, pero me tengo que salir a una, al, al, ¿cómo se llama? Para ver las cosas. Okay. Para el y todo. Vaya, pero puede mantener la, el micrófono encendido para que Jennifer sepa que usted está ahí, que ah. pueda discutir y todo. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Uh, 
sampai silastra aku kepada Yes, based in the Google and and to try to understand the little bit the idea. In in Google. Mm -hmm. okay. Just to just just to 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 have a, an idea. An idea. Okay. Okay. Thank you. The recordings. The recordings. Okay. Okay. Yes. I write. I write. No, I. Yes, I write. Employed. 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 While making, making, making the home. I will play to work. I will throw, throw, throw the. Are you girls ready or do you need more time? More time. Okay, about three more minutes, girls. Okay, how are you doing over here? Are we ready? We're finished? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Yeah? We're finished? Yes. Okay, very good. Uh we're gonna so we we know which one is the the topic sentence, we know which is the concluding sentence and which are the supporting details. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we chose with a topic sentence. The uh, sentence number three, the okay. Walt Disney Company. Okay. Um, all right. So if you have that, then perfect. I will, we're going to be checking the answers right now. So I'm going to uh, bring everybody back to the main room. Okay. 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 All right, guys and girls, we're going to be checking the answers here to see uh, what you guys have right now. So, um, all right, which of this of these do you think is the topic sentence? What do you consider to be the topic sentence? The Walt Disney Company is one of the largest and most well-known corporations practicing corporate social responsibility all the way down the line in their business model. 
Very good. Exactly. Excellent. Okay, so this is the this is the idea that I'm going to um this is the idea I'm going to talk about in my paragraph. This is what I'm this is what I'm going to prove to you in my paragraph. Okay. So everything, all the sentences, um, all the other sentences are referring back to the same idea. Good. Now give me a, so I think it's easier if I ask you for the concluding sentence then. The concluding? Mm -hmm. The concluding, because it's easier to be able to identify the, 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 the bread, right? The top and the Topic bottom. Sentence. Okay. So it's concluding like sentence. concluding sentence is the part number two as the largest media and entertainment conglomerate in the world. And aside from its constant imaginary, Disney has a tremendous responsibility to give back to those who have helped in the company. The powerhouse that is that it is today. Good. Okay. So this is concluding this. Like this is <laughs> this is like saying the exact same thing of this, but it's giving me like I'm I'm saying okay. I'm I've already convinced you. So now you know that this is true. So these are the bread, right? This is the the top bread. This is the bottom bread. Okay, now, so we already identify the bread. So we know that this is the part in the middle. So we know that these are the topic sentence. However, sorry, the, this is the supporting detail. However, just to help me understand better, or, that, or better said, make sure that you understand, which of these two sentences do you think would make more sense to be first? This one or this one? Which one would would be better to be first? Which one? Details, volume, dreams, is a major focus for Disney. Okay. So this one or this one would go first. What do you, what do, what do you think? Which order? Uh, we know there are two, right? So we know that, but that both of these are two. But which one do you think would? be better to what logically speaking which one would go first the last one the last one yes yes the last one and then the first one yeah yes Okay, very good. All right, so we're gonna put, this one would be 2A, let's say, and this would be 2B. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? It's pretty clear. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna stop sharing then. And we are going to be taking at our attendance. So, um, okay, so we're gonna start with Grisia. Sorry, Grisia. Present, present. Okay, thank you. And um, Delberth. Delberth, not here. Okay. Um, and oh, my goodness, sir. Hold on, guys, sir. Um, and Diana? Diana? And Jennifer? Here. Wonderful. Jorge? Present teacher. Great. Manuel? No, he wasn't going to connect. Maria Elena? Present. Great, right, thank you. Uh, Maria Ernesto Fejeda? No? Maria Ernesto, are you there? 
Venía a nuestro, ¿no? María José. María José, no. Eh, Norma. No. Romario. No. Silvia Soleima. Gracias. Right. Eh, Susana Beatriz. And Wendy Maribel. Wendy Maribel. ¿Qué le pasó? No. Se me, se me desconectó. Okay. All right, guys and girls. So that will be all for today. Um, if there is anybody that needs um, any questions to be answered or, uh, you know, wants some some extra practice or whatever, um, you can stay behind. Other than that, I will see you guys on Monday. So have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Mario Ernesto, are you there? Mario Ernesto? Mario Ernesto? Sorry, press <laughs> in, uh, in, the, in the last uh, meeting, <laughs> sorry. It's okay, Wendy. I do appreciate that you, that you connected again. Thank you very much. Okay, no worries, no worries. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I can't hear you. Your your microphone is off.
turn on your microphone. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're, you're welcome, <laughs> Wendy. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.